What's up, basketball fans? Back with Rocky Padilla, and welcome back to another episode of ASEAN Basketball Discussion. Today, we're gonna discuss about Philippines naturalized players. So, I will need a lot of help, man, from all my Filipino subscribers to give me more information about this subject. This subject is always fun to talk about. As we know, Philippines are getting ready for FIBA World Cup 2023. They're gonna be the host alongside with Japan and also us, Indonesia. So, this is gonna be a big, big decision for the Gilas Filipinas team. They are moving. Moving on from Andre Blatch as their uh, naturalized player, so they are looking at a few options. Uh, from what I see on the news, there are always only two names, either Chris McCullough or Justin Brownlee. But if you guys have another name, please put it on the comment section below. And also, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with Jordan Clarkson. I heard they are trying to get Jordan Clarkson to play as local, but I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, you can just write it on the comment section below. But can you imagine if they have Kai Soto? Jordan Clarkson and also a naturalized player. Oh my God, Philippines gonna be go. They're gonna go crazy, man. They're gonna go really far in the FIBA World Cup 2023. So, who is the better fit? Is it Justin Brownlee or is it Chris McCullough? Let's start with Justin Brownlee. He is well loved and also well respected in the Philippines. Man, I think he's probably half Filipinos already right now. He's been there for a while. So he won four championship in the PBA with Hinebra and also won one championship in the ABL with Ala Pilipinas. So he is well experienced. And what I love from him, he is very humble, man. Very, very nice to everybody. I met him in Surabaya. He was super nice with all the fans so i love his personality but as a player man i think his game is almost perfect man he can create he can shoot it he can uh dish it out to his teammates so he is an all-around player and man i love his skill set man justin brownlee is one of the best imports in the pba ever so that's for justin brownlee so let's talk about chris mccullough a little bit he played for uh, San Miguel Beerman uh, last year and he won a championship also where he dropped 37 points in the finals and he got a little taste of Philippines basketball so he knows a little bit about the Filipino basketball culture um, and then he I like his uh, how enthusiastic he is to be a naturalized player for Gilas I think he posted a couple times on his Instagram like man I'm ready to play for the Gilas Filipinas you know so I like I like this choice also because he is very enthusiastic and also he's still young. He's 25 year old. He got NBA experience. He played in the uh, with the Brooklyn Nets. So this is not a bad pick also for the Filipinas. But for me, I would pick uh, Chris McCullough over Justin Brownlee just because the age. Be if Justin Brownlee is younger, I think Justin Brownlee is 32 right now, I will pick Justin Brownlee all day because he knows everything about Filipino basketball already. Uh, but I think if for the FIBA World Cup 2023, Justin going to be 36 years old. So I think that's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a little tough for Justin to compete against all the world players uh, at that age, I think. Even though I'm sure he's still going to be really, really good when he's 36. But... With Chris, Chris is going to be 29, I think, when the FIBA World Cup play in 2023. So that's, he's going to be on his, in his prime. So that's going to be really good for the Gilas Filipinas. And I think he's still got a couple more years to learn about the Filipino basketball uh, culture. And he's so probably adapt also to the Filipino culture. So I think he's still got more time. So we will we'll see uh, who they're going to naturalize. I think they're probably going to make this decision probably at the end of the year or probably uh, early next year. Very excited about this. Uh, for Indonesia, we still don't know uh, what's going to happen with Lester Prosper yet, but I think they're getting close to get him a passport. So we will update you guys also when Lester got a passport. But I want to hear from you guys. Who's going to be the best naturalized player for the Philippines? Is it Chris McCullough or is it Justin Brownlee? If you guys have more information, also you can just write on the comment section below. So guys, thank you so much for watching my video today. I always love uh, talking to all my Filipino subscribers and also my other subscribers from Southeast Asia. It's always fun. So guys, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.